Uh, first, we have to my left, uh, Jim Nickel. He is a socialist comrade and lawyer, resident and from the UK. He is the son of an underground mine worker and he gained experiences in commissions of inquiry, including the Bloody Sunday Massacre in Northern Ireland, and then was lobbied to come here as the advisor to AMCU and the victims of the Maracana Massacre. He spent three years here on his own dime. He flew himself back now. So he was here from 2012 to 2015, almost that entire time he dedicated to and put his mind into the Maracana Judicial Commission of Inquiry. And then he flew himself back here now, just now, and reunited with the families of the deceased. And then, as you, I'm sure, are aware by now, the commission blamed the mine workers for the massacre. He is a pioneer of victim-centered justice and says that the commission might have reported differently if the evidence from the strikers the victims were taken first. And we also, I'm privileged to be next to Umzokolo Magidwana from Elliott Dale in the Eastern Cape, moved to Inkaneng, the, settle the settlement in Maracana to look for work. And in 2011, he got his first job. It was at Lonman. In 2012, if I'm not mistaken, he was 23 and had been at the mine for just one year. And he is a survivor amongst the workers who are on the mountain in Maracana exactly 10 years and four days ago. He took nine bullets, but is still standing and has become the spokesperson for the injured and arrested. And we also have Gabisile Kanisile, the mother. Kanile. Sorry about that. Uh, Gabisile Kanile is the mother of two sons, born and bred in Maracana. And she has been working as an activist since 2011 and seeks to raise awareness about the social and environmental injustices caused by the mines. She's involved in psychosocial support for the community and is secretary of the Sinatemba Women's Organization in Maracana. Yeah, in fact, this is the second time the comrades from Maracana, from Sinatemba, have come here to Johannesburg uh, at an event uh, that's been organized. And they are very well organized, and we just appreciate uh, the camaraderie. And uh, yeah, amazing that we have been able to stick together for a decade. Uh, and they also teach hand-to-hand -hand handwork to sustain women since it is seen that neither the government nor the mine are doing anything to help the community. Um, so we'll start with Jim, then go to Umzokolo, and then Gabi Sile. Thank you very much. Sit down, I'd have to stand up. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so I was in uh, South Africa for the commission for those uh, three years. And as I say to people, um, of a lot of things that I learned, and I did learn a lot of things, I did learn one word of the language. I'm so ashamed of myself, but I did learn one word, and it is this, Amandla! Amandla! What a marvelous word to learn, isn't it? Hey, I use it back in Britain. They don't know what I'm talking about, really. <laughs> now, let me tell you about the commission, really. It's an important uh, part of my life. But the first thing you need to know about the commission is that it was utterly and completely hostile to the families and to the shot and injured. When Judge Farlam took to the, uh, the, his stand-up day, and during the course of the commission, 
he referred to the widows as being unsophisticated and uneducated. He attempted to start the circumstances which justified them in defending themselves and their colleagues. I mean, can you believe such a conclusion could come out of someone uh, like Farlam? But it, but it did. And I want to ask, you know, why did it happen? Why did that happen? Now, there is a theory which was again put forward by the Commission and adopted by a large number of people that it was the sort of the cock-up theory of history, that really it shouldn't have happened and it was all a real terrible mistake and it was a result of poor planning, poor communications, poor leadership, poor this, poor that, anything other than that it was deliberate. My argument, and I say that the evidence overwhelmingly supports my argument, is that this was a planned attack upon striking workers seeking to improve their wages and their conditions. Why do I say that? You know, there were two plans. Plan A was a really sensible plan. I mean, if you were a police officer, let's, let me put myself in the position of a police officer for the moment and say, look, it's looking bad out there. There's been a big fight on the 13th. We've lost uh, two police officers, three minors. People have been shot. We've had some minors go to work. They've been killed. We as a police officer got to stop that, right? Being a reasonable police officer. So they had a reasonable plan. They said, what we'll do is that one morning at about 6.30, we'll surround the copy. There's only about 10 or 15 or 20 people left overnight who've got sharp sticks and perhaps a panga. And with all the forces that we've got there, 718 men and something like 80 Inyalas, we'll soon take those sticks off those 20 or 30 people. Anybody who comes along after that says, drop your pangas, drop your sharp sticks. You can go back onto the mountain and continue your protest. From a police officer's point of view, I mean, that's pretty reasonable, isn't it? So why didn't they do that? Why was it plan B that ended up with everyone being killed and people being shot and people being arrested? I'll tell you why. Because plan A did not end the strike. It merely took away the sharp sticks. The, strikes would have, the strike would have continued. They had to stop the strike because it was Lundman who was organizing the stopping of the strike. If the strike didn't stop, the person who was really hurt, or the company that was really hurt, uh, was Lundman. And that's why they adopted Plan B. Lundman, from the outset, orchestrated what had happened. I'm, for profits, of course. I mean, every day the strike takes place, then the profit takes a dip. And they organized the police. They organized NUM. They had people like Cyril Ramaphosa. Now, I'm not saying that all the police, when they took action against the strikers, said, or will help London profits. No, no, no. I don't think that was on their mind. They probably thought we're going to give these people uh, a good hiding. These strikers are good hiding. We're going to teach them a lesson. We're going to teach them some discipline. They may have had their own reasons for doing it. But the overall reason for doing it was that London wanted the strike stopped. And they orchestrated it through their liaison officer, who was Cyril Ramaphosa. He's the man who rang up Metetwa. He's the man who rang up Susan Chabangu and said, look, We've got to call this strike a criminal strike. It's no longer just an industrial dispute. He organized that. Uh, he organized it through uh, the, the various calls that he made. And if I can find it, I'll tell you some of the, uh, the, the things. But just to go back to the London position, what could be more clear than an email uh, that is sent to the Minister of Mines, Susan Chibango, uh, uh, Chibango than this? She, he said, they say, the state should bring to bear on this crucial sector of the economy, using all the resources at its disposal, to resolutely. Sorry, to resolutely bring the situation under control. The police and the army presence needs to be planned. So, what's that about? That's from a private company. What's that about instructing the government how to operate and how to break a strike? It's about profit. It's about getting those people back to work and taking out the leadership. I've got two minutes. <laughs> so Sequana, uh, the, uh, from the Noom, he says, I personally telephoned 
the Minister of Police and requested the army and the police in large numbers against these criminals, the strikers. So you can see where it's all coming from. It's all to do with the profits uh, of, uh, of Lonman. So that's what happened uh, there. Now, I, just, I won't deal with Sir Ramaphosa. I've mentioned him. He's the liaison officer. He does it. I just simply want to, to come to this if I have to finish uh, in two minutes. You know, the, the people had different reasons for trying to, to end the strike. The government wanted to support the Noom who were losing members. The government wanted to support Lonman and its profits. But the government wanted to damage, damage the independent workers' movement. And when you look at the, the strike committee, it was a strike committee that was independent of any trade union. It was a strike committee that was elected by the people on the ground. It was a strike committee that went back to the copy and reported its decisions. It had full support. This was a democratic strike by workers seeking to improve their own conditions. They were frightened of that. And the government thought that they could cut that dead and stop anyone else in the country from doing it. They did not. Immediately following that strike, there were 41 unofficial strikes involving tens upon tens of thousands of workers. And they took their cue uh, from the striking uh, miners. He's looking at me anxiously, but I do want to say this. I, sorry, I've got to say this. You see, they fought for a living wage. What could be more appropriate today as we sit here than a fight for the living wage as we see prices rise, fuel prices rise, and bread prices rise? You've heard that I've just come from the UK, and I can tell you that having spent some almost decades in the doldrums of people not fighting for better conditions, it's changing. People are out on the streets. There are strikes on the railways. There are strikes in universities. There are strikes inside the post office, and they can't stop them and the strikes are being won. So if there is a spirit of Manakana, it's a fight for the living wage, it's a fight for self-respect, it's a fight, and there is only one fight, really, you know, a fight in the world, and that is the problem that all workers face, and we can fight for a better living. So it's the old slogan, workers of the world unite, we've got nothing to lose at all, let's get on with it. Thank you very much, Jim. And now over to Mr. Kolo. Sanbona, Ninja. And the Mumdo Teta, Ningateta, Johnny Lang, and Tet. Lagoon being in the Asemaregan. Mankala Paka, the each one. Egunzo no scudu. Swopi me twalo ye. Angege si me. Egunzo no scudu. Swopi me twalo ye. Angege si me. Ye no nos kutu, si bo pi me twalo ye, angege si me, ye no nos kutu, si bo pi me twalo ye, angege si me. Amanda, and Bona Abandabanins and then Figuero Lucis and then Zoban Tandang, then Zangogba, Ababoning a Pambil, Apo by a corn. Did you entrease your Babandabanins Abasena Bubunt? Kubab Flung when Mundwin Yam Gobandias by Ekabilin. Lendis is cane, go ya pinda pind. Bending as a foot nam. Foot bending a eating hang over in at night pind, I pinding am. 
nam futa nini play mingo ba bini ngai tateli ngale lo kali binsiva ngundi eva go nineteen sixty magwenzeka iskane ko sase shagvin sasa lugu mizaba banda ba mnyama mizinti zwin nom la banda ba mshope basanga ana Batu klanga na guabo. Kwa kuna banda ba venga lali. Upsugu ni min. Kwa kwa banda ba tuna besili. Basa lebe tingu kuba. Bayo tibazo bayi pumelele lempi. Bayi pumelele nganjani. Ene nene nyansweni. Umdaga mandela. Watinga watinga watingi sisa. Kwa lile pa. Nge sixteen. Go December 1961. Ya vutu mbi zanga kuye. Safi gis profeto so kuba maga KEMK. Leyo na ya bange lukuba. Ikuwa zuku kogelela. IANC beglenda wikuyo. Na mshanja bantbalibele nge mbaba kwa IANC. IANC ifumene yoni nti bifuna. Ya tengi vuti, ya ze ya tenga, noktula, kopi shopi. Aba koyo kwe lizu. Aba begate, bia tunga beteta, batete luba. Indo lendu ngumtu. Indo lendu bubuntu. Ndiyo tuka. Sugela. Ngo 2012. Utata, ni picture yake. Eee. Emile umatala. Eme ngendoba kunyanze legi ilabandu. Abenze ububi emareka na batu chisu. Andi ziteti lili. Ndani siti na niteta na amditi ifi ndimu. Dibambe ini. Futi ni tati zikia ni chule luangi. Ngoba ndio bendi mochi lilizwe. Kodok bibi flungu nani bona ni chuchiswa. Izi chuchiswa zinga bewa nga pambi lukubandi nzini. Na na mtlanji nisaye izi kot. Langa ne langa. Na kunyanza lege kufikiti iti yuba. Ndi ye kot. Ndi ovele kot. Kota si kwisti. As a ikwindeti. Mzoto loma kituane wenze nduni. Ndi zote la undivumele. Le two minutes. Uwi nige utatu lando. Uwi nige mna longi kwa eshe liten. Kwa zu kakrisa nga lendi andi ichalendo. Kupulu unga pentli zwi ni kumu. Ndo pela nga pagati. Nga nbona. Aba ndibe sa teta nga ndia se maregana. Ndi chonge umzimba wamu. Ndi pinde ndi tinge. Ukuba nani nge konji. Ndani ngumdo wa kwa zuzi laleli bola. Ndi kwa zuzi laleli ngindi. Kodwa na mtlanje. Sendi indo. Kwa banyaba ndi okligisa. Ngoba nganditi ndi ndo yo kilegisa. Bakona banda bandi zama yugu nivalu mlo mugu bandi nga titi. Futi bakona banda bebe funa ndi nga bona gali. Koto nge nga yinkungu ya hamu. Iye nkupa hayo. Ibebe nbasala nbakelela ndi takunga tanga ando. Ndi nga zama yugu nfisa. Koto yoni nyani so mna ndi ayazu kuba. Ifana nilanga. Ilanga. Unga itati umbrella utu kuseli ilanga. Kotu zoli vilanga bali achisa. Nenyani su njalo. Kupu unga panga pagati. Koba ndinezi ndimi buzo kuhulumende. Nditi ukubanga haba sasa nga bantu. Ababe ateka ama polisa. Ndiyo ni nae banga lukuba. Sibale ke ama polisa amba. Tu fichane na le nyala. Isposa nga manzi. Suwa yegele inuona. Kante sinobunguzi. Kuteni lendo sibale ka ihipwe na manzi. Sibale ke na ma polisa wayo. Ndipinde futi nbuze. Umbuzu banga. Hapa kwe sibaya. Kunenlela, ea ivaliwe, pa ivaliwe nga mapolis. Gehipezi itu. 
Ngasi zo kita ngakuyo kulapu kwa kala kona kwa wa omnye wetu. Ngasi zo vela. Sabalega glandela, sa zo vela. Kulindela, kulindela, se kukale la krrrr. Sibalega ama polise nkonda, ino by six. Sabalega esbeta futibesi nga aznoba, asbeta ngompu mklobo kola sifba, lenda ya stubula. Sa chikela, se simbo nile no wetu futu wile. Nasi chikela, Gilichwa nange, nange pati. Kanti baya ya zinda bebe ifuna. Bafole ilain. Kwa bebe se kukala la grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
ungena kwa mesbedele andro safi babe ne gameliti so kolu limelega kulu nge skuwa zuku ngeta nguku siya kutata siya kutatisa si usa esali ngihil kulapo kukona kwa kutima kone zbane kum njogo tuka mvini kwe nyanga ndan fil ndi ayas londo ndan fil kanga kwa kwa sekaya kwa kilinde lukuba ndi ngwajwe kutenge langa ekaba kwa kupigi iso anangalo kwa kutikwe michini kwa kutikwe michini kwa kwa kutwa kwa ndan kosti male nins tu milione nda ispenda 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 kwa kulapo Evuka evuka kono kwa kama kubo kama nani pumia na pogeni ya kuzomtio na kubo kasa wanda rozi kama tafu na nangu nangu mbete na manunjo acha kwa zuku sus kuingono ni mje kama tiri magwe tini ngobanga kwenye mensa yendo dite uvuka kwa m da vuka ni fana nje nenyoka e kaulumsi la ese no bunguzi obu pinda pinda na yuko kutoa enge kisiki balu mengi. Ezo baluma nga lente la vena habi, bebe iluma nga ayo. Kula po ke kubono yko ono bandi mkali, manifalo, 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 le mbizi, nga linge ni nyagazi. Futinde ndi kataza, abanda benza londo, baso ndelega kulu kunam. Muna nitingu, bafila le ntungu nam ni ipila ayo. Kanti bona banga apa kwa mge ngondo. Nchile londo. Kote kibele in, utikle beseli ni kama tringo ba, dzo amba ganja ni klenzela. Goba aiyonto ya abole in toka tito, ukpala la kwe kazlam, ukani kwe kazlam makombe, ukfana nje ne kaz elektrika, yolgaiis, efeli zono zabantu, niti geni na wa fa wa vuga, kote mdo wa fa wa vuga ndi mde edo na fika na chuchi is, nsa pira na namtange. Nda chuchi iswa. Nda chuchi zeli zono za banda bafileyo. Neza. Eni ndia yazi inyi ndia ni chuchi zeli wako pile mshabini. Bupile ganjani. Datu nali vugi pube sibati bonke. Ewe ya pila. Babenga pilifu. Babenga ena benge ni ile sani ngini nga kwa zukteta. Kutu ewe ya pila nyan. Ii statement ababe zbali ile nga amu. Anzaz ba zinga api. Abanye ba tinda ni peti spam. Abanye ba tinda zende uke ngelo ngumbo ombo. E, 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 Rustin Peck. Ukuba vuma uti weye na nguwe. Ubu utu bula mapuli. Sa nati ngege ndi enze londo. Uba ni atanda ni bula lehini. Azange ni vele nga pambile. Kwi kwe kwindwe kutuwa zi IPT. Zintu ndu nda tula. Kenga yesi zat. So kuba. Ika yesha beli nga gafi. Kilo kuba. Di kubele ke na lendo. Di ziva namba le ayikabi yoyo ya ham. Isa linge naba ngami leyo. Ugu yenza. Lieze la mikresha. Kotwa. Ndi funu kubule la kulotata kukala. Bambalo abandwa batina utatu siyoka toba keko glendao. Bambalo abandwa babelue la inkuleko. Abasa teta indwe efana ayo. Na nguku. Eo kuba umto mnyama. Oka nye umto. Lendi ngumto. Ngumto nga bantu. Maranga shuku nyezwa. Umto ngenzela. Ngoba wena usbona unga to right. Ndiya itani ndayenza. Yungo bufundi sabandaba ninze. Futinga anga ubutiko. Ikubilin. Kucheke abanyabanto. Abafana na yotato reno. Kastin apakun. Yenze ba ingo msolo akisasa. Litu. Linga pedi linche imu yin. Na kuyuta tu siyoka, ngukuta tu siyoka saiba mbile. Na ayo kuika la leka. Abani bekawe ngukaba sate mbaga langa bana nyani. Ngukaba ba praipe kwa kuli ANC. Kunga kwa benge na nyani ganga. Ndizoti. Indwe nga manza. Abanda bani nzi. Abanya babo benza. Indio bange lukuba kubinzi ma lukuba singa ya basi fune fane basi tini ape South Africa ye pinde le snow snow pumele langa ayo eldabi di bakale la kwa 
kungoba umtu no umtu wenza inda yenza ya ute wenzendo ni kora ni akono ba mvi nguwe klesha uzo kabano kawake nga yemali benga uluanga o itabi lukba belue la bantu into yo kale emo shabantu kuba bantu ba enzi ndonga nga yemala benzi ndonga yo tando lukba befunukuru la bantu na baba fundle ya bantu ufunda elazu sizi ebe suga gulo elazu futi sizi la banda ba pila nae aba tangu wake kutwa after efundi ile after efundi ile inda enza ayo kukutringe ili susu saka kasa stringi ili sizi ndigenda hati kekleshe nanteta na makabane we oez pati zong and hati Aiko ipat ezo kipa yi ANC. Tu. Aiko yi gazalo. Yi ANC ezo kichwa. Yi lando sa si enzile. Ti na singa basi beans. Kusati si asangana. Si kiwa intungu. Yoguba si asquazu manager. Impilonga 4000. Fanele sfundi sabandu ana makaya. Spili se wungu mdu nge 4,000. Sifana na makoboga. Isi za atsokba sibetwe. Kwa kubonwa indoba. Si, si vula ameto ezi nye maine. Sifana nezi kute kunati. And injongo yawa. Babe street anjenga makoboga kukuba. Ze singa pumeli. Sibonwe nga banyabandu lendo sienza yungoba. Iyo kula. Endu kula kwa bano kwa zuko yi manager. Ngenga. Kati ito mvinu basi betiwe. Lendo ya spreta. Njengu ba nisicho. Nisicho nani nonke. Guba. Nesu kolo. Za enda pazi siti. Nazo zifuni mfundo ya mahala. Aba tali bi siti bo. Nabaya ni nika. Kota ba niki. Kwa kubele ki striker. Nge striker. Toti yo mange gold. Bi siti ba funa lema. Lisa isi ibe telu. Zangi peli. Ndiya se mare. Kana nge nga bako betu etina. Koti inga ki. Yesi chongene na ayo. Nguku. Lilizwe. Ilizwe, letu, alino barait, linga kange, ipate kwa zi ukinga. Ezu zobane njongo zokuba, zisi zele abandu, zikupe yi ANC, ela uluin. Lando, ya enziwe yi MK, nga pambili. Ilwe lukuba, ikupe ndoni, umbuto, wabandululu. Bata nga nisi, uba unga bali ANC ba ya tizi ifu manega njani futu kipila. Zininti indo za sangene kupaku uyo. Futi isazi kuba. Even ENUM. Kwa senza show kuba. Ivoti ya zihilati zifatu. Vote landoni. ANC. Mistake yetu. Kukuba sinabanda banyo lugulia ya batu ingeli sisu zaap. And then, ba zenza, ubonga ya nga chonga ngu kape South Africa. Ipate zikoyo. Tlambi is more than 210 something. Kwa na utatu tinge, utatu buise legu mazo na ngapali kwa Amerika. Ngenze kwa I2. Why? Bo na bane njongo yoku pilti disizwe sabo. Hai ukulonita ifemili zabo kwa ndenze intu ngoba na nemali. Nibu onba nzo investa ngani. Come run. Come run. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Nkosi kakulu. We're just going to have to hand over in the interest of time. Thank you so much. Mzo kolo. Gabisile. Amanda comrades. Amanda comrades. Genkan, nga wetu genkan. If I had powers, I would say let's stand for the fallen comrades and let us honor the fallen comrades. Let us honor the comrades who are still here to tell the story of Maragana. If it was up to me or if I had the powers, I would ask the house to stand just to remember and to say we give respect to the comrades who paved the way for, the, for us. Amanda comrades, long live the spirit of the fallen heroes of Marikana, long live. Long live the spirit of the comrades who are still here to tell the story, long live. Nyabonga, my comrades. I, I don't believe that when the comrades woke up on the 16th of August 
and went to that copy. They were paving a way for political parties to use them as step leaders to get in parliament. I don't believe that the comrades anticipated what was coming to them on the 16th of August when they went there and spoke about what it is that they want, the living wage. When the comrades went to the copy, they didn't take any mine's property, nor did they ask anything from the mine. They just went with their hands, their labor. That is what they were killed for, their hands. Because the mine, when it sees them, it sees them as the machine to make them money. That is what Sibanya is still doing today. When Sibanya looks at the mine workers, they see them as nothing. They are one with who? Sibanya is one with who? When they came, they terminated the contract of workers. They chased them away like dogs. No notice, nothing. You went home for December. When you come back, you no longer have work. The government was silent. The government was silent even when, what is the business of the police in a strike that concerns mine workers and mine management? Why do we just justify the presence of the police at the COP? What were they doing there? What was their business there? Those are the questions we should ask. But the people of South Africa voted Ramaphosa in power. They put him in the presidential office. And we sit here and we ask ourselves, we say, let us talk, let us shout. We have been shouting, comrades, for the past 10 years. Now it's time for action. The comrades, they, they, they put a landmark. Where do you start? That is where you started. They talked. They saw that talking was not enough. They withdrew their labor. They went to the copy. The government followed them there. They did not go to the government. The government followed them categorizing them as criminals. What it is that they have done? Which crime have they committed when you say they are criminals? Give me proof, show me what it is that they have done. When Falam says these people, they are criminals, what it is that they have done? Falam, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Did you receive the envelope from Ramaphosa? The brown envelope, you received that brown envelope. Hence you have the audacity to name our fathers, our uncles, our brothers criminals. We live with these people in the community. Why did they not do those criminal acts in the community? Who are you to come into our community and tell us that we are living amongst criminals? You are the criminal. You are the criminal who want to ex ex exploit the, the work of our fathers. Who, you are the one who's treating our fathers like nothing, like dogs. They were mere asking for 12,500 rand. How much are you getting? They were asking you to come and negotiate. They were not even saying, say, come and negotiate with us. Instead, you shot at them. You send live ammunition to them. Today, you want to come and say, I'm compensating the people of my, compensating for what? For what when you have killed my father? I'm fatherless because of you. You are put in office today because of the blood that you shed in Marikana. You send bulldozers, Sibanya, to come and bulldoze. Sibanyas, they are not there to, to, to make life better for, for, for the mine workers. No. Which private sector has been ha 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 managed by one, one, one company in South Africa, in the whole of South Africa? South Africa is a banana republic. And then there are people who say, uh, long live the spirit of uh, Comrade Mambushi, when they know that they are being fed by lying and saying they are, they, are, they are moving the struggle of the people who died in that copy. When there are lawyers who go to court, three of them, when there are political parties who say we are supporting the... Have you, is there any political party that ever asked you, Guti Comrade, how are you today? Which political party leader has done that? Because they claim the struggle of Marigan but they know nothing about it. Here are the people who tell the story today. Let's give honor and respect to these people. Those ones who go to the TVs, they they lungisa they, ipaki zabo when they're about to talk. No, down with those people, down with the capitalists. We are tired of capitalists. Come to the people of Marikana, come to the surviving people, ask the stories, they will tell you. They will tell you. They will tell you what it is that they were fighting for. They will tell you what it is that has happened. They will tell you how they were assassinated. 
Who ordered the assassination of the mine workers of Marigan? Because that was pure assassination. Massacre, massacre what? Massacre what? That was an assassination. You justified by calling a massacre. What? what? Go to the people who are there, who were there. They will tell you the stories, the truth and the honest stories. Not this television thing, portrayed things. Go to the people who were there, they will tell you. Go to the widows of Marikana, they will tell you. Go to the community of Marikana. Those who are still not bought, those who are still not captured, they will tell you the truth. Because people, they push their agenda. They no longer push the agenda of the struggle of the fallen heroes of Marikan. I thank you, comrades. Concise. Um, so, can we're going to take uh, a round of about four, so you can have a maximum of a minute. If you need two, at least the the women of Americana they do get two minutes. Uh, thank you, Comrade Luke. Uh, I am Tumega Magwangana, the founder of Sinetemba Women's Organization. Uh, the commemoration saddened me. The killings of the people, the killings of the mine workers for asking for increase, it makes me very mad. You can't kill a person for asking a, an increase. You can't kill a person and don't, and don't uh, answer to their plea. Instead, you just kill them. We are living in fear because the people are being killed every day. But the government do nothing to protect the mine workers and the communities. Where is the better life for all? Or where is the security and safety they are talking about in their, in their constitution? Or their constitution was there just to, 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 to serve them, not the communities. We are people that are, are, are rendering services in the communities without any payment. We are doing counseling. We are doing everything in the community to, 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 to help the people with our services in the community, but we are not recognized. We are not recognized as, a, as women. We were forgotten from, from the first time the, the, the massacre was happening. We were not recognized, but through the films, through Striker Rock, we have the, the, the time to raise our voices so that we can be recognized and then we can be heard by, 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 by the government. Our government is very selfish. Is very selfish. Even the, the president of South Africa is very selfish. He had the, 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 the shells in, in the mines. He had the shells. He, he was having Shanduka, but he, he was not. Hey, he was not uh, having a remorse when he killed in Marikana. I'm still saying Ramaphosa was the ones who killed in Marikana. He doesn't even recognize us. He doesn't even look at the conditions we are living in. We are living in poor conditions where we are living in shacks. Not all the mine workers are living in those houses that they built. And those has houses they built, they, they rent. They pay rent. Not all the mi miners can afford to pay rent in those houses. Where is the better life for all? Where is it? They are shouting every day for better life for all when we must come and vote. But we never had the better life. We are still living in shame.
Thank you, uh, Tumeka. Uh, can we just, uh, the last couple of questions here, uh, I've noted one, two, three. Uh, you just have to be quick if you don't mind. Um, good afternoon or good, good evening, San Bonani. Um, I want to talk about something about this Marikana thing. Uh, to be honest, I did not know anything about Marikana. The first time I saw the film or heard or gathered all the information that I have now is on the 15th when we saw the film. So I have a belief that many people do not know the truth about Marikana. Siabonga, we thank the guy who gave us the videos. So please, for there's one comrade who all spoke about making noise. Let us make noise by posting those videos so that those who are like me, who do not know anything or who does not know the truth about Marikana can know. And after that, we become Marikana, all of us. We go back to the mountain and demand to get response from the government by staying right where the workers were killed until we get response. Because I feel that we have discussed a lot. We know everything about everyone, everyone who has done what, who has done what, but there's no action. It's time we went back to the mountain and we demand action, we demand response from the government by staying there just like the mine workers who stayed there. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you be quick, please, Patrick? Hi, I'm uh, Patrick Bond, University of Johannesburg. Amanda. I think, dear comrades, I've just heard from Comrade Zwani how we are giving solidarity and how it might even just be passing this information on. And Comrade Tomeka has made such an obvious statement of our responsibility to give solidarity. Could I also ask our comrades from Marikana, can you give solidarity because there are other Marikanas with Cyril Ramaphosa's fingerprints now? One is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Five million have been killed in the resource wars, and Ramaphosa on Thursday in Kinshasa said he was pleased, even though the 1,000 SANDF troops that are there have been the subject of protests by the citizens. And over two dozen were killed last month, protesting SANDF and the other MONUSCO, the other UN troops that are there for multinational mining capital. Sound familiar? The second in Cabo Delgado, Mozambique, 1,000 SANDF troops killing local people on behalf of the French company Total Energy, and ExxonMobil, and INI from Italy, and China National Petroleum. More Maracanas, 4,000 dead in the last two years. As the SANDF does there what it did to you, it is doing peacekeeping on behalf of multinational capital. Your solidarity to keep telling people that the man in charge of the SANDF, the commander in chief, has blood on all these corpses, that solidarity will bring us to an internationalism we are so desperate for in post COVID times. Uh, there's a question or comment uh, back here. Was there? Um, anyone else who wants to be quite quick? Uh, then I'm going to to hand over to to Rihad for two minutes. I'm counting for you. Amanda. Amanda. Uh, as can because right as Chris Wayne said, because nenda we shele ibi pe fumlo yabantu yabantu bakuti emarikane. He said nenda yonkala yabantu anokshali poko yonki into 
Ako nendo, eza fensa ma polisa ye kwa zukuta vale nga zukuta bula la bantu bakuti. Kota kwa kwa zukayo biya nga zolanda ya sema riganu kwenze ba ikibalu leke. Inda ya ziwa ye funu biye la zukuta bula le wonge umsebe nzo wa sema riganu. Ipchunga kulitizyo ya minda yenze ke marikani. Endi besi, singo mama base marikani. Tina besi funa, besi tanda. Ukuti nige ni support. Umtetu wakona sifunu yapi? E parliament. Sifunu ya gura maposa seos buse ni mibuzo. E parliament. Ngognoko etu sibo mama base marikani. So tise senele, seos buse ni mibuzo. Ngoba, indo enze ke marikani, aizange ibe right. Endi okba legle umna anyani ngaye abla uu puti mzokolo. Indi ase marikani, abanyabantu benzi mali ngayo. Bafuma ni mali, pataba iti nkuti. Landa ubenza kutu. Kabe siya batu everyday bebona palanda. Bai tata kanjani. Bai boni njani landa. Koto ka palala makazi. Namdi na ee relative ya mpa. I cousin brother ya mea choni lapa. Umpumze ni ngande. Gomye we cousin brother za mwa choni lapa. So landa ya se marigani. Sifuna ukuti ilo ni peke banda kwetu. Abanda kwetu. Abanya basa ambe koti till today. Ivi no mzo kolo. Abasi chalas. Basa pota every day. Sisi ya e koti. Basa ambe koti na ngu. Angabi koti batileyo. Na maja lao sometimes anga tetua no tetua. Because abasa asu baba za utini. Abakwa asu bakulula. Kwa baba ya asu kutika sebe bakulule. Kufunebe kupele mali banga funu kui kupu kulument. Uh, thank you, comrades. So um, we will take someone very quickly, and then uh, it's up to you guys. I am, I'm going to come to you, sir. Uh, but uh, if you don't mind, we won't have a normal. If you have anything urgent uh, after uh, Rehad maybe suggests a little bit of a way forward, we will take them. But maybe we don't have enough time to, to go into a long thing. All right, so this comrade uh, hasn't spoken yet, so we give him about a minute and a half. I'll leave, uh, I need much shorter time than that. Um, I wish Ronnie, I wish you were still on stage because I'd like to, I would have liked to pose a question to you, but I'd rather pose it to people who have been on the front line in the, in the trenches. Uh, there was a comment around um, not holding people to account that were in the struggle that understand what we faced uh, against the apartheid government. Uh, we have people who are part of MK right now who are living on the brink of starvation. Uh, my question is really, do you believe that those MK cadres and others are holding um, people like Sir Ramaphosa uh, to task in terms of getting to the bottom of this, because I don't believe they are. Thank you very much. And now um, we will just have uh, Rihad for a couple of minutes here. Yeah, we've got more important things. People of the South are going to uh, entertain us, and we're going to celebrate our resistance. My name's been mentioned a few times uh, uh, in the last couple of hours, and I think I need to respond to a couple of things. The Amandla uh, Dot Moby, uh, working with the 10th Anniversary Committee of the Marikana Support Work, Solidarity Work, have managed to organize and facilitate and promote uh, uh, 40 events. Let's give them uh, a, a round of applause. We, we know there are uh, many others that have happened over the course of the last 10 days. And uh, I've been to a number of them here in Johannesburg. And something's crystallized, particularly today. And I think today, for me, has certainly been the best event. And we've got to give a, a big round of applause to uh, Africa as a country uh, and uh, <laughs> University of Johannesburg. And I think when we come to the... Um, the way forward. Uh, comrade professors, Trevor, our new director. Comrade Luke, Professor Luke, you've got to pull those who have historically done the solidarity work for the last 10 years together to chart a way forward. And I want to say a few things about what that way forward could possibly be to get people thinking. When Ronnie, when Comrade Ronnie spoke today, 
it triggered something in, in me. It is about the rededication to the struggle. But more specifically, it's a rededication to a specific sort of struggle. What did they break when they, tempt, when they held those, what did they attempt to break when they opened their machine guns on that day, 10 years ago, on 16th of August? It was workers' democracy, the workers' assembly, our democracy, the way we make decisions, the way we attempt to control and assert some control over our daily lives. What were they breaking in the fees must fall when they stopped them meeting on the university campuses? It was our assembly. It was our democracy. And I think we certainly have realized, and this is my last point, that there is a, a, so, that there was a new generation of people, the young, the militants, the most militants among us, the young people who do not know about Marikana. And we need to use the film and continue to use the film. And we are committing ourselves to make sure that that continues to happen and that we can faci facilitate that in communities around the country. And we are committing to a process where we actually take this work forward. And every August, and this is my idea, every August 16, we go into our own assemblies, whether it's in Soweto, Davidton, Everton, all around the country, and we determine what our course of action is. And we know what the course of action is over the next few days. It's for the living wage, general strike, 24th of August. And we've got to make noise and we've got to bring our townships to, to, to a stop. It's the 24th of September, the global climate strike. And we've got to build for that too. And we've got to be disruptive. We've got to take direct action. And we've got to follow the example of Marikana and the fees must fall. We've got to go into mass assemblies, people's assemblies. Forward to the people's assemblies. Forward. Thank you so much. Uh, just the last thank you, uh, especially to Africa is a country. Uh, again, thank you so much, Africa is a country, for coordinating all of this. And then uh, can we just thank the women of Marikana one more time, because they are here with us every time. And then can we thank Seri, because Seri is always here with us every single time. So can we just thank the legal support? And uh, can we also thank Sounds of the South, because they came here themselves on buses just to be here with us today to commemorate uh, Marikana. And then we'll be having them now. And uh, can we also just thank uh, Tumi Mohorosi as well, although you guys will be introduced. And I think the comrades from, from Anglo Plat former Anglo Platinum, we'd like to thank the Workers Committee. Thank you. So I think we'll be starting up with the sound, uh, William, in the next uh, few minutes. Do we need to say anything? Uh, just to add to, to, to the thanks, uh, one more shout out to Gevers to Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, who generously sponsored this event, made it all possible. Uh, thank Luke and Trevor, the Center for Sociological Research and the Center for, for Social Change, to Ben, Claire, who were instrumental in organizing this, and to thank all of you for coming out here today on a Joburg, a cold Joburg morning, for being participatory, for contributing, collaborating, for the opportunity to build the networks again. Uh, and to everyone who joined on the stream, who we haven't given enough love today, uh, from whichever part of the world you are at, thank you for joining us on the stream. I don't know which camera to look at. I think over there. Thank you to everyone who's joined us on YouTube. Um, <laughs> It's okay. So, the scholar wants to say a word. Yeah, 
nam ndifuna ukubulela man ngesintu sakuthi kalokho eh ongavanga ke yonyamezwe eh kodwa ke endifuna ukutsho ukuthi nje ngibani lapha nonke ndiyahalela ukutsho ukuphinda nditsho ndithi eh lento akumela ngiphele lapha kuni nje kuba nani nesitsho ngumlando umlando wethu ukuthi na ke sihlala sokubhala ngegazi nde nikhathaza athi nabantu bamnyama nde lento ofuneka iphelile yokuba sikwazi ukuma sifuna into sahlale sithina sebhala umlando ngegazi kufiwe abantu ukuze sikwazi ukuzuza into kumele sinikele ngegazi iya nikhathaza namuntu wakathethekela le gazi so ndiyahala ukuthi unixelele ukuba now lento ngeke iziphele kungabanjwa ngamntu pa phezulu noba banganikeza malini imali engeke ibithenge ubumbam yona nde ndiyishile apha kwenifuna initiation yazo bahlambe abanye abantu bazotsheka besidi kahle kathi noba yena ufunane into endiyifunayo ndifuna uRamaphosa neqela lakhe libheke jela and 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 lo nto leyo kungekudalanga izokwenzeka nizoyibona kungekudalanga uthi ikho sephindule ndicela into oyiwani support yenu zene ngathi ke nase siye court nina nehlala ezindlini zene ihambe nami niye nami phi e court nathi nende idingana so if you want to stick around we're going to have two performances from sounds of the south and Tumi Mohorosi, so stick around. They're just going to set up the sound in the south where we are. Um, and yeah, it should be beautiful. And a reminder, if you haven't yet done so, to sign the register outside, we would be very grateful. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>